this is the GPS system itself, the Trimble, the handheld device that you can take out and record. It comes with a pocket cradle, you know, a rechargeable cradle that has a rechargeable battery. I went out there and recorded a site near the Mayak and I did a trail and I did um, recorded some things for them using real-time data with the Trimble GPS. I'll show you how I convert the GPS data, convert it and put it on a real world map right now. I'm going to hook up our Trimble to our computer. We just got to plug it in. This already has a pre program called TerraSync. It's already downloaded as you plug it in. Windows Mobile is opening up, so the program on the TerraSync is operating and downloading. As we can hear, it shows you that it's connecting and it has connected together. So it's synced together already. Now the program that I was talking about earlier, the GPS Pathfinder, now I have to open that up. So now it says select a project and so I created a folder in order for me to find it on my computer. This shows you uh, the files that I want and I open them up and now they all pop up in the file manager all here and this is all the data and it shows what I recorded with the GPS system. But it also has information I have to what they call differential correction. This is uh, base stations that are created around New Mexico and all 50 states based on a latitude and longitude system that is based on UTMs in each state that we use. And so it's going to connect me to four base stations that I personally select in order to measure my real-time data. Now what I have to do is get the base stations that I want around New Mexico. And the nearest one I have is well called the state of New Mexico Mining and Minerals and so I had to select that and I press OK then it gives me the first one then it shows this X shows where my site that we recorded it then it shows where the other base station number one is which is the state of New Mexico Minerals and it shows it's it's on the left of my site nearby so when I want to do positioning and post process data the best way is to make a triangle around it and so I'm going to have to find two more that are around there in order to get a nice triangle all the way around my data. As I add more it will tell me what I need next. It says two is right there and I keep adding up to maybe six depending on what I want and I'm trying to get the data all the way around and so now I'm going to eliminate how these two are too close, all I need is one of them. Then on top, there's there five and six are too close. And so I can cancel one of those out. And now, as you can see, satellite two is in Santa Fe, which is the closest data. Four on top is Taos. Three is Albuquerque. Five is Vaughn. And so that gives me a nice triangle data in the middle. It's searching for all the base stations that I selected now. The files that I had from the total station are going to be shipped out to these base stations. Then they're going to be recorrected and converted into real-time UTM positioning data. And this shows you 89% of my data is 5 to 15 centimeters off. And maybe 5% of it is 15 to 30 centimeters off. And so this gives me a good estimate of how close my data is. Now I just press close. Now I have three types of data, which is a point, one point, you know, just a dot, a line, a polyline, which is from taking one point from one here to the other end will be a straight line. Then we have a polygon, which is a polygon shape file. So now, there we go. I pull all three shape files, and this is what my data looks like projected on a map. And so what I want is three types of information I need a background imagery so we can figure out where it is from space and I want to get a US topo map you know it shows the altitude of how we are we're really close but as I zoom out as you can see if we go up this way there's a mountain on the side there's a hill so it gets closer and this is more of an open space area but it's going down it just gives me the geographic reading system of it but what I really want is a imagery and I pop it on and it'll give me my 
imagery background. So here we go. It shows that it's up at the Mayak building, showing the road up to the axis, other roads, neighborhoods, and areas. So right now I'm going to get it close up to our site. And you can see it's here at the Mayak buildings here. And these are all the trails and stuff that recorded are shaded in, polka dot in line, but I can't see it. And so what I want to do is make it a different color. How can you tell the difference between a point that you took from, you know, a sewer point or a... Um, highway point, you know, a road mile marker, a um, pothole, or each and every telephone pole that you want to record on the process. We can separate that in this symbology program that they have on there. Now see all the dots, they were all one color now, now they're all separate colors now. Now I can figure out all these green dots, as you can tell, are all the trail markers. So now I have all my data is transferred and it's all categorized and separating so now that's telling me these are the trail areas that are recorded and so now it's telling me all these green dots are also green trails and so all I have to do is connect them all together and when all this data is cleaned up once it's all done you'll have a final clean shape file and here it is so now when I'm done, I got everything in the right position, all labeled in all positions. And so at the end, this is the final product of what I do as a GIS specialist.